clarity and closure of the viewers comments where I will take a selection of your comments and I will answer questions criticisms or just about you know anything that I might find interesting or think would be valuable in the overarching scenario of correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar because as you know or may or may not know this is a correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar oriented vessel the purpose and function of this channel is to teach correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar the grammar mechanics as well as the psychological components therein and so that's the reason why i do these and i hope you enjoy welcome to another edition of for the clarity and closure of the viewers comments this is episode siete or seven and we have a choice selection of comments for you as uh, as always we have we go from the good to the bad to the ugly. The first comment comes from longtime viewer Dylan's voice. And his question is, so am I right in thinking that it's a correct sentence structure flag because David Winmiller claimed the flag with correct sentence structure communications, parse syntax grammar? Uh, the communications is singular there, Dylan, in the title of correct sentence structure communication, parse syntax grammar. Um... I highly recommend watching those old videos and hear David talking about how exactly he got the flag. I've also done a few videos regarding my position on that and my position on why the flag itself has no correct copy claim to it. All right, number of reasons. And it has to do with the grammar, the way David talks about that he captured the flag. Capture. Do we know what capture is? Capture is an act of war, taking something against its will. And not only that, if you're going to claim correct grammar, then you must be able to produce correct grammar. And as yet, I have not seen a correct grammar contract for the copyright copy claims anywhere. So I know that doesn't directly answer your question. However, the answer comes from and is contingent upon closure on this grammar period end of story so yes i'm telling you that in order to answer your question you would first have to learn the grammar to then have the possess the neural pathways to grasp what it is you're asking and maybe someday you'll do that i know you've been a, a viewer of this channel for a couple years now and i'm very appreciative of your viewership However, if you choose to uh, learn the grammar it will and get closure on it, uh, this answer will present itself. Next comment comes from one of my favorite students and member. Thank you for your membership, Peter Dean. He says, come on, butthurts. Let's go. Please step up and give us your closures. I would love to hear them, and I'm sure others would too. I don't think that they are all trolls. I think that they know too that the grammar technology doesn't lie i know who my money is on by the way there is huge honor here for those who step up to stop and correct unfortunately peter dean the individuals that i feel you are addressing don't possess the humility to do such a thing because as you may or may not know the students will basically be a mirror of their teacher, or the follower will be a mirror of the leader. And because the leader won't do it, the students probably won't do it either. It is what it is. Next question comes from Big Henry. And uh, actually, it's not a question. It says, answer of the day, prove to me there is no God. That's pretty funny. Big Henry, I highly recommend you taking the time to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, because if you possessed even a rudimentary knowledge level of this grammar, you would know that your question makes absolutely no logical sense. There is no proving a negative. 
That's like saying, prove to me Mars doesn't exist. Prove to me that uh, Gandalf the White doesn't exist. How can you do that? No, the proof of the claim is on the claimant. If someone thinks something is a fact, they have to prove it. They have to be able to certify it in some way. Like, uh, for example, this, uh, this bottle of kombucha. I can prove it's a bottle. I can prove it. I can hand it to you. I can write a, a, a linguistic description of it and show it to you. You can touch it. You can handle it. You, can, you have a tangible contract with it. Can you do the same with your God? Because a fact for you, that's awesome. That's for you. Whatever you choose to participate with as facts, great. But once you bring it into uh, the domain of others, other contract parties, now you have to be able to certify those facts. Otherwise, you're asking people to participate with opinion as a fact. And that's a no-no with correct sentence structure. You must be able to perform and prove your claims. Jonathan Todd, a member. Thank you very much for your membership, Jonathan. I avoid speaking negatively about most people, so I will just point out that if it weren't for the Purple Thumb website, I may have never found you, Jason. I'm grateful for that. Well, as far as speaking negative about most people, and I have shared this with you, Jonathan, in the reply to this comment, I participate in what's called Kuliana. Whatever energy you bring to me, I'm going to give back to you. Depending upon who you are, and how often you've brought a certain type of energy to me depends upon how much of that energy I give you. I may give you back maybe a tenth of your energy. I may be give you back um, quadruple the energy you've given me depending upon what it is. It's kuleana. What you put in is what you get out, basically. So that's the way I handle it most times. And uh, as far as what you said there in the last part, Yes, I, I completely understand. If I hadn't, I am very grateful to colon Mark hyphen lowercase k Kishon colon Christopher for the simple fact that if I had not seen him or attended his classes way back in 2017, I would not have met colon Raven hyphen Farhad hyphen Tohidi colon Eferin. So everything has its place and its purpose. I'm grateful for Mark for that. However, that's not going to cause me to not be critical of the grammar that he uses. Never mind the fact that he slanders me in public. Anyone you see me concentrate on, like I'm concentrating on auditing or, or criticizing their grammar, it's someone who has slandered me in public. It's Kuliana. I'm giving back what I'm getting. Next comment comes from longtime viewer and member. Thank you, Jason, for the membership. Jason XR4. When speaking quantum grammar, would it be better to understood if the colons and hyphens were not pronounced, yet give notice at the beginning of the speaking of speaking that all of your compound facts be hyphenated and with colons be written uh, transcript? You know what? You you pretty much answered your own question there, Jason. As long as you give closures to what what it is you're doing. However, it's the speaking of it is not critical. It's not critical to know how to speak correct sentence structure verbally. It's a written language. It's a written conveyance. That's where its power lies. <clears throat> if you possess the knowledge to speak it, go ahead and speak it. Like when I speak it, I don't usually say hyphens in the compound facts when I speak it verbally, unless it's a name. Then I will punctuate the name literally, but it's verbal. So it is what it is. Correct sentence structure is contingent upon being written. And so I highly recommend anyone out there, you know, yourself included, get closure on the grammar first and then start worrying about the, the speaking of it. By the way, if you do speak out sentences out loud, forwards and backwards, it's a tremendous learning tool to, re to be able to remember this grammar. Next comment comes from Jonathan Todd. Bingo, I think you hit the nail on the head. Authoritarianism and those who don't comprehend where authority comes from or how they usually unknowingly surrender their own authority are maintaining a self-limiting belief. Of course, this is only one symptom that people exhibit who are stuck in fiction. I find that many people aren't aware that there are so many opportunities to correct things in their own constructs. Of course, this is only my perception. 
Yes, of course. I mean, there's, uh, you can correct things. You can use the balance of the honor, grace, position of peace, neutrality, and the maintenance of rule one, rule equal in the fiction. I contract in fiction all the time for the ease of the navigation. Meaning, if I was to go out and just use correct sentence structure for everything, do you think I would have time to sleep or eat or do anything? No, <laughs> you wouldn't. That's why I highly recommend only using it for trespassing. And, you know, you can gradually correct your own construct as you see fit if that's what you feel like doing. For me, and as David points out in a lot of videos, the only reason that this comes into play is when there's trickery going on in the fiction. Next comment comes from longtime viewer Meta Yarb2 Yarby. The technology is correct. When I find someone else using it correctly other than you in the public, I will let you know. Good job, mate. Very enjoyable tutorial. Well, thank you very much for the kind words there, Meta. Um, I know lots of people that use it correctly, <laughs> mostly students of mine. But I will say that I don't see anyone in the public on YouTube that does it besides Colon Ricardo, Colon Marseille. As of yet. As of yet. I have other students who are just starting out their YouTube channels and just starting to experiment and dabble with it. So we'll see. Hopefully these people will put some quality, correct content out there. Next comment comes from Gregory Donald Cooper. For the point out of the duality is with the claim by this claimant. Is for the why of the critique with the Russell J. Gould. Now I did respond to this comment and you can check out that response uh, under this video, which is a Coral Blade Grotto broadcast reaction to RJG's website. But I just wanted to point out a couple things in this guy's grammar. And he did admit he's a beginner. So all honor and grace to him. This is not meant to be picking on him in any way, shape, or form. When you do comment on my channel, it is for the knowledge cultivation. So using compound facts like point hyphen out, is, I, I highly recommend staying away from things like that because you're using a non-tangible contract word in your fact it's very hard to give closure to that in your dictionary now this is a correct sentence for the point out of the duality is with the claim by this claimant you know structurally uh, sequencing a position is correct however this question is not correct because there is no authority at the end you have a with the gould at the end and it doesn't make sense because it says is for the why of the critique with the with the by the Russell J of the Gould. And then using why a non another non tangible word as a fact is how are you going to give closure to that in your contract dictionary? See what I mean? There are specific mechanics. I have done a video on how to create a correct sentence structure question. I myself do not use them. Because I find that if you're going to ask a question, you already know the answer to the question anyway. So it kind of comes off condescending. I only make statements. Because when you ask a question, you want something from someone. And I don't want anything from anybody. Least of all the fiction. Next comment comes from C-U-S-D-S. -S. Can't read the whole name. It says, that is one thing I love about you, Jason. You critique the grammar. That is what makes you great at correct sentence structure. However, I would love to see a man or woman with such clout speak up about unity and peace. I speak about unity and peace all the time. Rule one, rule equal. Honor, grace, peace, neutrality. What do you think that is? Every video I mention it, actually. And by the way, I don't have clout. I don't claim anything like clout. I guess clout is something others give you. So if you're giving me clout, thank you very much for that. But I don't as ascribe that to myself. One who promotes peace and unity, regardless of proper grammar, is far more important for the creation of a peaceful world. A world united is how we thrive. My world is very peaceful, by the way. Parse the word world. Find out where it comes from. Find the earliest nativity root meaning of world, and you'll get a better sense of what I'm saying. Not all of God's children are correct in their words. What is God, first of all? We need to know what that is. We need some certification. The same way that I can certify that this is a bottle. need to know what God is so we have all the facts on the table so we know exactly what you're talking about. 
We are in a new time where grammar, correct grammar, is coming to the forefront of our volitions. Let us create a world of peaceful love and kindness. Yes, exactly, as I've been saying for five years now. Peace, neutrality, rule, unrule, equal, honor, grace. I agree. This is success to me, however, correct sentence structure... It's very important for us to move forward into a peaceful world because if we cannot communicate clearly and we get along, we will destroy ourselves. Let us unite and help each other in our corrections and not just bash one another. There's no bashing going on here. I'm just critiquing grammar. I don't agree with you all the time. I don't agree with Mark Christopher all the time. I don't agree with David Miller all the time. I don't agree with Russell Gould all the time. However, we are all brothers and sisters in this beautiful world we call Gaia. Let us unite and help one another and overcome evil. I do not call the world Gaia, by the way. Um, that may you may call it that. And it's it's a very um, compelling and and wonderful fantasy that you're talking about there. But it's my experience in my 50 years on the Earth that this is not the way. It works. It is not the way it works. Certainly not. Um, one can only maintain peace, neutrality, rule one, rule equal, and honor and grace for so long. When another contract party is violating those terms and conditions, the contract's off the board. So I'm willing to work with anyone who maintains those qualities. Right? It meets me on the geometric level playing field which the Mark Christopher and Russell Gould have not. They, so to speak, threw the first punches. So it is what it is. That is not reality. It's not the fact of the way things work. It's a nice thought, but it's definitely not the way this earth will ever work, uh, by my knowledge. We the people need people like you to help educate. That's what I've been doing for the last five years. Last five years, I've been educating. Over 400 videos on this channel, free to the public, education. Please share your love with the volition of peace first and correctness second. By the way, I think Russell Gould is working with the fraudulent FBI. Truth will set us free. I have no way to certify that. I didn't, and, and I'm, not, I'm not in prison, so I mean... I don't know what truth will set us free means because I'm not in prison. I do not believe the FBI is working for the best interests of the people. However, they are made up of our own brothers and sisters. True. Good point. So let's try to appeal to their hearts and bring about this golden age of peace and thriving for all people. Try to appeal to their hearts. I disagree with that. Um, I, don't, I don't agree with appealing to anything. I feel that it's enough for someone to be correct with the balance of honor, grace, peace, neutrality, rule one, rule equal. And if you do that, things will turn out okay for you, I think. Thanks for the comment. I appreciate the thought and energy that you invested in this comment. And uh, I like a lot of the things that you said. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, I have saved the best for last. This one comes from someone known as Colon Quartermaster, which I guess that means that they're just a quarter of a master rather than a full-blown master, which makes sense when you look at their grammar here, which is not correct sentence structure, nor is it plain English. I think I'll come up with a new term and call it quantum gobbledygook. So we start off with colon space well, which means of the well. As David Wynn Miller taught, and as I show in multiple, multiple videos, every correct sentence structure must start with a cause, then a concern, then a verb, then a possessive, then a concern, then a possessive, then an authority. Authority comes at the end, cause comes at the beginning, so that when you Read it backwards, for becomes by, of becomes with. Four positionals. This individual starts with of the well, which voids the correctness and voids the mathematical interface. And then they have the authority coming after a comma. By your first claim as a so-call. How would you read that backwards? What is the opposite of as? I have no idea. What is... Like, if, if of is congruent with with, 
and four is congruent with by, what is as congruent with? If it's one word, one meaning, one function, one congruency, what is as congruent with? And by is congruent with four. So who knows? Let's move on. Federal postmaster is. Oh, wow. So there is not two position lodial phrases in front of their verb here. So now it's definitely adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun. And I'm just going to go through and point out a few other things here. But this is just complete nonsense. This is complete and utter nonsense. Is with the base within. They use within as a positional. What's, what's congruent with within? Of out? Therefore, what's therefore? With the void of any facts. Colon space O equals no. Colon space O equals no. Pin equals stick. Attachment for your subjective interpretation. So sub is a particle of negation. Pinion. What is this guy doing? I don't even know if it's a guy. Actually, it could be a girl. So I'll just say it's a girl. What is this woman doing here? Of the facts. For your interpretation of the facts is with the void qualifications of your claims. So again, it voids the correct sentence structure mathematical interface by not ending on an authority. It ends on a concern. So that is not correct. Of the slander, bracket performances, and void of any correct knowledge again. I think this individual, I think this woman is talking about themselves for sure. For sure, because there's no correct sentence structure here. I challenge the quartermaster to read and write her sentences backwards and show me how it means the same thing as 1 plus 2 equals 3, 3 minus 2 equals 1. Show it to me. Compare that with, for example, the description of my videos, my sentences. Just compare the two quartermaster and tell me what tell, tell me show me the difference because there's a huge difference and I mean I can tell just by the way you, you write who your teacher was because they write the same way and it's all as I said quantum gobbledygook but uh, thanks for the comment maybe I'll see you on the ice das vidanya well, thanks for joining me once again, and uh, I appreciate your viewership. If you have any suggestions about uh, how you'd like me to handle these comments, you can leave them in the comments field below. If you're interested in learning correct sentence structure, you can contact me at the email address screened at the bottom of your picture, and that goes for everyone except for the uh, quote-unquote quartermaster and her cohorts those people can go fish up a tree all right hope everybody stays safe maintains rule one rule equal performs with the balance of the honor and the grace claims a position of peace and neutrality and give back what you get que sera sera what you put in is what you get out it's called kuliata thank you